Oh, wait a minute, Diane. I forgot your corsage. We don't need it. We're not going to the prom. What? Where are we going? We're going to elope. <laughs> but, Diane, you said back there that... I know what I said back there, but there's no sense in arguing with them. We just do it, and we'll come back man and wife. But, Diane, I can't go. I'm not dressed alone. What are you talking about? This is running. <laughs> I can go, but my tux has got to stay here. JJ, don't worry about it. But I got a dental appointment on Tuesday. Now, what's more important, our marriage or your teeth? Well, right now, our marriage, but when Dad finds out, my teeth. JJ, it'll be too late. Our parents won't do anything. But I didn't even say goodbye. I didn't even pack anything. You packed everything I need. Now you're telling it like it is. <laughs> well, here it is. My compliments, Mr. Innkeeper. Thank you. <laughs> well, do you like it, my dear? Oh, JJ, it's really out of sight. Yeah, that's because I know how to pick them. You can always tell a good motel. That's the kind when only one light burnt out in a vacancy sign. <laughs> ah, world traveler, huh? Well, you know how it is, bro. <laughs> yeah, I go first class all the way. Don't spare any expense. Uh, when's checkout time? <laughs> Noon. Oh, and uh, what do we do? We want room service. Check in to another motel. <laughs> One more thing. Do you know the telephone number of a preacher? We want to get married. Ah, you said you were married. Uh... <laughs> uh, we are. It's just that it felt so good the first time, we thought we'd do it again. Yeah, you understand. Hey, look, I just rent rooms. It ain't none of my business. I mean, if I was a meddler, well, I'd have probably wondered why you checked in without any luggage. Uh, <laughs> we lost it. Mm -hmm. Where? On, on a bus! The plane. <laughs> uh, see, we lost half of it on a bus and half of it on a plane. <laughs> it has been a very long trip. <laughs> From Chicago? Hey, now look, you kids. You're not putting anything over on me. Every year at prom time, we get hundreds of kids coming into Indiana to get married. You aren't gonna kick us out, are you? Oh, now do I look like that kind of guy? No. Oh. <laughs> Tell you what I'll do. Why don't you let me take care of the whole thing for you? You see, I kind of like to think of myself as the traveler's friend. <laughs> I can get you the justice and peace, license, works. You do all that for us? Oh, how could I turn down such a nice couple? Mm. Oh, it'll be beautiful. It'll be romantic. It'll be five bucks. <laughs> oh, a mere pittance for a man of my stature. <laughs> Thank you. Now, the uh, cost of the wedding, you know, is strictly up to you. But if you want the deluxe, I can arrange for the limousines, for the flowers, the organ music. Well, we were thinking about something a little more simple. Oh, like what? Like a preacher in a box of Uncle Ben's. <laughs> Well, I guess I can do that, too. So, when are the nuptials going to take place? Well, we figured right after the wedding. <laughs> no, J.J., we'd want to get married as soon as possible. Right. And I'll let you know as soon as everything is arranged. Thank you. Thank you, friend of the traveler. <laughs> we did it, J.J., do you believe it? We're really going to be married. Oh. Yeah. <laughs>